legitimate question. Why in an age, in a world of more information, more YouTube videos, more websites, more content, more books, all the info, chat GPT, any question we have, we can ask it. Why are more people failing? Why aren't more people succeeding? Why are more people becoming financially free, financially abundant, successful in business, successful investors? All the information is there. This question for probably 10 years, ever since I actually set out on my journey of creating financial freedom, has like haunted me. It actually pissed me off. I was on the oil rigs. So just for context, I grew up at a trailer park. I worked blue collar, oil rigs, never went to university, never went to college, was just taught to work really, really hard. And at 24, 25 years old, I worked really, really hard my whole life. I think I started working when I was around 15, 14 at the trailer park. I got hooked up with like a job and I pull weeds and like do things. I looked at my bank account and it was like negative. And I had a mortgage at the time. I had car payment. I went the whole traditional route. And I was like, I am failing. Not just financially, but I'm miserable. I feel stuck. I feel like I have to do this job because I have to pay the bills. And I was just a slave to the system. And I remember going to the bookstore chapters and like trying to find a book on like success. And I stumbled across Think and Grow Rich. And obviously that led me down the rabbit hole of the next book and the next book. And I started asking the question of like, we have all this information. I'm working really hard. Why am I failing? And not just financially again, I was not fulfilled. To me, that is success. Money is a byproduct of fulfillment, of doing something that fulfills you. As long as the, the, the thing you do that gives you fulfillment is structured in a way that also brings you a flow of money. Like there's two sides to that. But anyways, I can do a video on that if you'd like, how we think about business and how I think about constructing something that people actually want so you can provide value and there's an exchange. I'd be happy to do a video on that. Um, I've been studying this stuff and applying this stuff for a long time across multiple businesses. So I can always do a video on that. Just let me know. Anywho, why? And if I had to really break it down to the common theme and pattern I see when I ask someone, what do you want? They don't know. They have no sense or a very weak sense of purpose, which by the way, our next Monday mindset call is around a lot of this um, visioning and bringing your purpose to light, like getting connected to it. Really asking the question, what do you want? Because then the, by the way, I'm in Miami and I've been watching the sun come up and I'm just full of inspiration, like tears strolling down my face today of from trailer park to traveling the world, staying in awesome hotels, meeting awesome people in a fairly short period of time. And I'm like, it's possible for you. It's crazy when you know what you want because all the information is out there. I've spent probably $150,000 this year alone on like coaching masterminds programs because the information is out there. And once I know what I want, I know where I have to go. I know who I have to talk to. I know who I have to meet. I know the books I need to read. I can say no to 99.9% .9 of the information that's coming to me and just say yes to this. Uh, we have a guy, let me go post it up here. They're doing a couple grand a week in DeFi income. He knew what he wanted. I want to create a DeFi income and that's it. And then you can focus on, okay, I want to be in this community. I want to read these books and I want to watch these videos and I want to subscribe to these YouTube channels. And that's what I'm going to make everything about until I get to, again, their goal was 10K a month in DeFi income. When you know what you want, the information is out there. Again, either through books, communities, coaching, programs, mastermind. I'm really big on buying time. I do not, I know time is a finite resource and I'll never get it back. That's how I see it. And every hour that goes by of me trying to figure something out on my own is an hour I lost. And the cost of that hour is you can't put a price tag to it. And so let me just find someone who knows what they're talking about, who did it. Let me pay them. Let me get access to them so they can give me what I need and what I want and um, what I don't know. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Mm. And let me roll with that because there's no lack of information out there. The information is out there. It's what do you want? Answer the question. I'd love to know, like, what do you want? What are you creating? What are you here to do? And then do that. Uh, another piece people will say, well, it's an action. I'm kind of lazy. I don't really feel like taking action. I'm kind of like, because you don't know what you want. If you really knew what you want, you were connected to it, you would take action. Because it would excite you. I got pulled out of bed here, uh, probably 5.30 a.m. 
And I'm like, pulled out of bed because I know what we're creating. I know the team we're building. I know the community we're building. I know the impact it can have. I know what it can do for humanity. And I want to get out of bed and do that. And I want to do that every single day for the rest of my life. That is success. That's success. I wanted to share that. It was on my mind. Look at that. It's like the blue and the yellow. That's freaking gorgeous. Anywho, I will let you go. Do let me know in the comments if anything landed. We've got some new free stuff coming out. Give me another week or two. We should launch it. I do want to start talking a little bit more about the vision, the purpose, the that what is it you want? Because it'll, what I see is it pulls people out of bed to actually create the financial resources, the financial freedom they need in order to actually create and achieve that which they wanted and actually start bringing them out of bed and finding creative ways to finance, that, to fund that dream. And you stop thinking about it like I need to make more money and it's like I need more resources available to me so I can make this dream happen and make it happen for others. So stay tuned for that stuff. And with that said, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.